Well, in its infancy, sin means misses the mark, right? I was praying about uh, where we're at in the scripture as far as Matthew goes. What can I liken this generation to? You were like children. We played the song for you, but you didn't dance. As far as... Um, Dismantling the dragon. The Holy Spirit had me watch this um, video. And it's an African bullfrog. And was placed in a case. With a big spider. Don't get scared. Be not afraid. I try and make my videos educational through the Holy Spirit and for you. Entertaining to say the least, but impactful on your life. How church always was designed to be. And the spider couldn't go anywhere. And the frog just sat there and ate one leg at a time. until the spider was down to two legs and then it couldn't move. And many of you are spiritually incapacitated by your fear. Basic instructions. The Bible says, do not fear 365 times. More than that, if you count the revelation you'll receive from the Holy Spirit when you're in the scripture. And I was praying, you guys can be in Matthew, and many of you are. We that are in the air, we are remaining in, ascribe to the Lord, you heavenly beings. This is Psalm 29, a Psalm of David. Behold, the son of David. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. Now, one of my prophets at this point in their video would be saying, I hear you, Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit just gave me something to say after I read this. My mind moves like that. <clears throat> the God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. So that's the structure, the structure, the structure of the lukewarm church, beloveds. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf, Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord strikes with flashes of lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the desert. The Lord shakes the desert of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord twists the oaks and strips the forest bare. That means your false righteousness and your artificial peace is gone. <clears throat> and in his temple all cry glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. Sit on your throne, Lord. <clears throat> Judas even told me once, we need a king. And in his temple, all cry glory. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Beware the scribes, beloved. <clears throat> the Holy Spirit was talking to me about that three days ago, of how everything became so uh, 
convoluted and confusing. And how Michael would break the power of the holy people and all that. I was there. I remember how it happened. And how the Holy Spirit has... Um, how I received my name from the Father himself. And removing time is the only way to comprehend God in the vastness of my existence. It's simply flesh, beloveds, given to us. And the word became a man. So understanding that I have put visual evidence in front of you Understanding that I have given you the ability to hear my voice. Understanding that I have given you eyes to see. I am left with one conclusion. You either are deceiving yourself. And then I have to look at what is the motive? Why is it important to me that you receive your blessings and your spouse? And then the truth. You simply have no idea what you're doing. Let me help you. I um, told the lukewarm church, and my prophet confirmed it this morning, they will try and entice you. I'm not coming back. to the lukewarm church. Those at the easiest uh, understanding of what it's like to walk with me, God told me no. And put plenty of confirmation in front of me. I have been delivering letters to the church. I have been working with the church for the last seven years. I have no interest in it. I am 100% full-on Team Jesus. There are those of us in the air, the bride, and we're receiving our rewards. We are resting and refreshing in this month. I love you.